heaven. To live in dreams what you pondered in life. I wouldn't necessarily say that I could spend an eternity of anything, but I would love to experience the eternity of everything. The argument was that in order to get to heaven, you would have to change all of your memories, that you would have to go back and erase them, uh, all of the bad memories in order to get to, to, to heaven. You must not have done any good. And while you can't change memories, because you can't change the past, you can make more memories. You can make a new future. Um, perhaps when you die, you don't take with you the negative, and it's true that you leave behind what, what truly maintains your existence, memories. In the afterlife, you would likely be your better half of your existence. No, it's true. I would not agree that. It is good or okay good for a child to be starving and to suffer and to die a slow painful starvation of death I wouldn't say that there is a necessity for suffering in the world I wouldn't say that there is necessarily a need for pleasure in order for there I'm sorry, I need for pain in order for there to be pleasure. But I think that I, I would say that there's most definitely a need for trial and error, for experience. The suffering of our kind is unbearable to stand, but here we are standing. Here we are still standing. Because of the existence of such suffering, we have developed compassion. We are being more compassionate towards one another. Is that the state of our current existence? Compassion? So those are my thoughts on heaven. <laughs>